Welcome back to Echo. And just placed this cube right here, and then it promptly exploded. And seems to have brought this place partially to life. It's like there's pulses of energy traveling throughout the base. Also, the cube seems to have placed a waypoint on our HUD, which according to London should be impossible. to interface with the palace. Maybe it's Foster trying to help. Foster was many things, but not a systems physicist. Why are you still denying that we have a chance? Everything around us is a marvel. Everything around you is critically unstable. I think the whole place is malfunctioning. You should be getting out of there. It was so cool the way the door opened. Also, I was thinking about the resourcefuls. Given what N described of being picked from the gene pool, and I think hundreds of them. Look, I got a new waypoint, and it's a lot closer. Yeah, I think hundreds of resourcefuls put through these incredibly dangerous tests that many of them died from. And N talking about how when they ran away, they made it to the wall. Like when they first ran away, they made it to the wall, and then found their uh, their grandfather there waiting for them. So, they were in a compound. The Resourcefuls sound like a cult. They absolutely sound completely like a cult. Not that Ooh. way, evidently. Jesus. That's fucking terrifying. Okay, so only the ones that are lit up open. <laughs> I just realized how clever this floor is. Look at it. If you look at it from above, Right, it's just like a... Well, I guess it's technically a square, but it looks like a triangle. It's like a triangle, and it's got a little black corner to it, taking up maybe more than a little bit... A little bit more than half of it. From above, it doesn't look that special, but if you look at it from here, it takes on a whole new, completely 3D look. It's like an optical illusion floor. reacted to it. Did you see that? It charged my suit. I don't know what sort of holographic phenomenon that was, but it was extremely compatible with the dual retention system of your suit. Looks like we needed that to get enough power to jump down here. for your suit won't be a problem. The outside of the palace sectors burn red hot, but even inside the walls and floors I read a build-up of gravity charge. Why would anyone need power on a scale like that? I hope it's not part of the malfunction. Overcharging would be catastrophic. Always seeing the bright side.
I feel like I'm in sort of a maze. Also, is it just me or are the pulses speeding up and getting a little bit faster? It's hard to tell. systems shut down, but it's still charging. The jewel mass is nearing the Dirac child limit. That felt horrible. I couldn't move. It was a massive energy discharge. It Wait, must what? have made your suit brace. The lights have stabilized. The discharge kicked in system processes planet- Wait, 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 wait. Did, did we just like accidentally skip a cutscene or something? I was holding down a mouse button when that happened. Here we go, I just reloaded. Let's try that again. is bad, N. The palace system's shut down, but it's still charging. The jewel mass is nearing the Dirac child limit. That felt horrible. I what? Move. It was a massive energy discharge. It must have made your suit brace. The lights have stabilized. The discharge kicked in system processes planet-wide, but it's producing a lot more energy than needed. Building up charge again. I guess there wasn't a cutscene. Strange, it just feels so sudden. What's all this energy being used for, or going to be used for? If I touch that, do I get hurt? I'm not gonna test it. This place feels a lot less menacing when all the lights are on. It's still creepy, but not in the same way. Oh, okay, now it's creepy again. Another discharge. There's air now. Huh. How is that possible? I don't know. The chemical composition of the environment was altered in the blink of an eye. That must have been what the energy buildup was for. Whole place really is coming to life. All these dormant processes are coming online. now. What the... Flowers? Huh? They weren't here before the blackout, right? No, they were not. I guess it's part of the welcoming package. Thanks, Palace. Guess a little bit of green is nice. Oh god. What changed now? There's something on the floor. What's that? The hell? It looks like a... 
Oh, it looks like a cat threw up and then someone burned it with a blowtorch and turned it all to ash. There's more. Look, there are more of them. Everything is so neat. Weird how it scatters these chunks all over. Yeah. They seem larger here. What the? This one moves. Worse. It's alive. The sphere appears when humans or animals are detected in close proximity, but this... Could that be my echoes growing? Could that be the seed of me? All of these? Ugh. That one's moving too. Yeah, they're growing. Christ, I think they might be me's. What are they? It can't be Foster, right? I mean, the palace did try to read the cube and then malfunction. This can't be the palace attempting to bring him back, right? No matter the intent, that's not Foster. It's not sentient. Yeah, that's a terrifying thought. If it tried to read the cube and it's trying to recreate it, but it malfunctioned and it's creating some sort of a messed up version, that is very disturbing to think of what that might be. It looks kind of humanoid, doesn't it? Looks like it's got arms and a head. Oh, does that sphere... Oh, it indicates the direction of the living thing. Look at that. What does that mean? I get color now. The suit senses a threat. Yellow means that you might be noticed. Red means you're targeted. The HUD sphere. The sphere activates if life forms are detected, lighting up in the direction of the readings. The size of the marker reflects the approximate visual silhouette of the life form. The color changes from neutral blue if the suit perceives the life form as a threat. Okay, so yellow, you will be discovered if you stay there. Red, you are hunted. Orange, you are hunted, but hidden. The enemy will search for you. Okay. Yeah, that is absolutely humanoid. Oh my god, it even has fingers. Ugh. That's disgusting. 
They can move. Ugh. Here's the waypoint. Hmm. Now it just moved. Oh, oh, they just got up. Oh. They're trying to? Can they not walk? Oh, they're fucking hell, that's creepy. They'll be walking soon. Yes. Are you still sure this is a good idea? No. I'm surprised N isn't losing their shit. I would be. What's most absurd? The palace populating itself with these grotesque hostiles, or you charging on like you'll be able to survive when they're fully evolved? I never expected this to be easy. Seems to detect them from a pretty far range, which is going to really come in handy. stand now. Can they walk? I mean, I don't think I'm gonna get past him, right? Nope. What is this? That's you, Hen. They are my echoes. Why would it build copies of me? Jumped me. The red spikes suggest that you won't survive another encounter like that. I don't get it. Why would the palace copy and then attack the first human to arrive? It makes no sense. The constant crashing indicates deep corruption. Those creatures must be part of that malfunction. You're hurt. Getting hurt triggers the suit's restorative support system. This is shown in the HUD as a pulsating red sphere of spikes. While the sphere is visible, it means that you are in a critical state. Any further injury will result in death. Okay. It looks like I don't make too much noise when I walk, which is good. Or actually run, in fact. I can't imagine they can run though, right? No, I'm, I'm much faster than them. This one, however... Oh, wow, okay. Pushing, tap F. Good, good, good. That's gonna come in handy, for now.
I'm bringing the gun online. Each shot will kill as many as you can line up. feels very weighty. It's got quite a blast to it. Starting to look more and more like me. Can I still yell? Hey! Hey! Over here! Ah, uh, I guess it's changed now. It's more of a distraction kind of thing. Oh god. They're getting up. I thought you said the gun was lethal. It is. So, the palace resurrected them? Who knows what this death trap is capable of? My guess is things will only get worse. Ah, you really need to work on your motivational skills. So they come back up every time the palace restarts. Vermilion slash Ono, zero point phase driver. Uh, right mouse button, aim, left fire, mm hmm One cell of energy per shot. Lethal kills any number of targets along its vector. Head or pinky shot, it makes no difference. <laughs> nice. Range 50 meters. Sound level loud. Oh, a bunch of other things too. Uh, reticle turns red on visible targets. Mm hmm. Ah, the number of reticle rings count the number of targets currently overlapping. From 1 to 3 plus. Okay. Aiming at an enemy for 2 seconds will tag the target. This tag will remain, but is only visible when the target is within the 50 meter radius. Quick aim assist. Quick aiming in the direction of a tagged enemy will snap the reticle to center mass. Oh, interesting. Okay. Probably not worth doing on these slow enemies, but when they get faster, certainly. Just change, is that what happened? Take down. When behind an enemy, hold F. Position behind an enemy, hold F to do a lethal takedown. This is not completely silent and will alert other enemies in close proximity. I wonder if you have to stay crowd. I'm assuming they would hear you if you just walk up on them. Creepy. I love it so much so far. They're everywhere. Yeah, there's no getting past them unseen. Oh, Christ. I can't see anything. Use your area scan. You, costs one cell. Nice. Do they stay like that? Nope, just lasts for a little bit. 
Okay. Okay, so let's see if I don't have to crouch when I go up behind him. <gasps> looks like you don't necessarily. They might have been in the process of turning around though. It kind of looks like they twitched for a second. All right, we're going to get spotted, but let's just go. Oh, maybe not. Shouting. Tap or hold R. What does holding it do? Tap R to whisper. Or a single enemy away from the flock. Or hold R to call out. Oh. Hey, girls! That is so creepy. Hey, girls. <laughs> oh my god, look at them all. They're, at this point, they're zombies. In this state, they're freaking zombies. Hey, girls. Are they coming this way? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay, well... We're just gonna go for it. Uh-oh. faster after each blackout. If they swarm you, use the gun's riot function. It's not lethal like the main driver, but it will knock down everyone in close proximity. Got it. Targets within... wait. Oh, so it's the same weapon, but it's just an alternate part of it, like a separate function. Wide gauge, phase pulse. Aim on right mouse button and fire on middle mouse button. Oh, okay. So that's how you access both of the functions at the same time. Middle mouse button for the right and left click for a normal shot. Uh, range 4 meters at 180 degrees. Okay, so not 360. Non-lethal crowd dispersal knocked over anyone within a frontal radius of 4 meters. And it's loud. Targets within range are marked with individual HUD brackets. Okay. Let's test it out. I just noticed how cool it is when you press Q to send out your uh, your scanner thing. I was realizing that my bubble isn't there while the scanner is scanning, and I realized my bubble is the scanner. The bubble actually sends out to scan, and then after a while it comes back in and reforms your bubble. That's so cool. That's so slick. Like, look at it. And should be coming back in a second. And it's back. Ah. Oh god. How strong are they now? Uh, 
Uh, still, still moving around like zombies. How far down have I gone? I've just been going down and down and down and down and down. Am I moving to the core of this planet or whatever the hell it is? fills in a little bit more. What is that? What the? I have no idea. What was that? It's creating weird imprints of me. Oh. The echoes Strange are starting. Is the norm in this place. Yeah. It's looking at what I do. Fuck. It's getting smarter very quickly. Very, very quickly. is strengthening your suit's ability to retain energy from your surroundings. Cell crystals. Found in the palace is a crystalline resource strangely perfect for increasing the suit's cell capacity. When you've collected six crystals, you get one additional cell slot. The number displayed in the cell meter shows the remaining number of crystals needed to upgrade. Ah, so right now I need five more. sit in the chair again, right? It's closing fast. You won't make it. It feels like this damn suit is slowing me down. You're just out of stasis. It's protecting you. I don't want that. If you insist, it'll be painful and your range limited. Ah, just gained a sprint. Okay, it's got a pretty limited stamina bar, yeah.
What's this now? It activated a new interface. I wonder what it's monitoring. Oh, hello. We got a thing on our cube. 16 on the left side, 9 on the right, and a little part of it's yellow. What does that mean? Don't know, but I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, thoughts so far? I am even more intrigued by this game. It is really, really cool so far. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.